setup inventory item for ASL. In order to avoid any confusion in understanding approved supplier lists or the sourcing rules functionalities, let's set up a brand new inventory item and that's what we're going to use it in our demonstrations. So let's minimize this and then we'll go to Oracle applications. And here I'm going to log in with the user called as operations, password welcome, hit the login button and then navigate to a responsibility called as Purchasing Vision Operations USA. That's the one. And then to define an item, simply go to Items and then Master Items and accept these defaults. And this will open the form. And here, accept a organization M1 Seattle Manufacturing. Hit the OK button and then start defining the items. So I have got a sample data here. So what we'll do is instead of defining the whole item from scratch, we can simply copy it from an existing item. So to copy it, go to Tools, Copy From, give the item name here and hit Apply and then Done. So item has been copied. And here I'm going to give the same item but prefix it with TST1. Okay, TST1 CM40120. That's our item. Okay, and then I will save this. And I'm also going to save this particular item over here. Fine. And then I will go to Purchasing tab and I will check this checkbox Use Approved Supplier. So this will make sure that whenever this item is used on a purchasing document, the Oracle applications will make an automatic validation when that particular purchasing document is submitted for approval to make sure the item is associated with an approved supplier. If the item is not associated with an approved supplier on that purchasing document, then you're gonna get a message that you can't approve the purchase order because the item hasn't been approved with a approved supplier list. All right, so let's do that. And the second thing I'm going to do it is I'm going to assign this particular item to an organization M1. So to do that, I will go to Tools, Organization Assignments, and then select M1 over here and then save it. And just to make sure the same attribute that we checked at organization level is also checked or not. I will go to organization attributes and then purchasing. So look at that. It's defaulted from the master level over here. Now I'm going to close this form. So this kind of constitutes our item setup. In the next movie, we'll go and define a approved supplier list for this particular item.